Hey, in this video, we're gonna take a look at a new product from Bouge RV. This is part of their CR Pro line. It's a new line of refrigerators. It's a fairly small footprint, and uh, we're gonna find out who it's for, what it's all about. It's got a couple of, um, dare I say, cool refrigerator features. Ugh, why can't I resist the dad jokes? Anyway, is it worth a look? Let's find out. All right, as I mentioned in the intro, Bouge RV came out with this CR Pro line of refrigerators just recently, and I think there are three different models. There's a 21 quart, a 26 quart, and a 30 quart. This one happens to be the 30 quart, so that's the one we're gonna be talking about. And just know that pretty much all three of these models have the same footprint in terms of, you know, footprint, and they're just basically different in how tall they are. Uh, but we'll get into the actual outside dimensions in just a second. All three refrigerators in this line are single zone but you can run them in freezer mode or refrigerator mode, which basically means you can get them down to about zero degrees and up to around 50 degrees or so. But the price on this particular refrigerator is about $379, and you can get it on Amazon or you can get it from bougerv.com. And per usual, I'll put links below if you wanna go check those out. And I do know that there's going to be a, I think it's about a 14% discount code if you buy it from bougerv.com from the link that I put uh, below in the description. And I think there's a special deal if you're actually in the market for one of these right now and you want to jump on it, I think for just March 3rd, and I'm not even sure it's a restricted time frame, but that link is going to be below too. And that's through Amazon. And I think there's a 30% off uh, discount with that link, but it's only through, uh, through March 3rd. So if you happen to be in the market for one of these right now, March 3rd would be the best time to buy this guy. Now the warranty on this refrigerator and pretty much all, all of their refrigerators is two years. But if you register it on bougerv.com, uh, you get an extra year for free. So basically a three-year warranty if you register it through their website. Now, as I mentioned, this particular one is a 30-quart version. And I, I do like the interior height for reasons I'll get into in a second. And its empty weight is about 27 and a half pounds. So it's pretty manageable. Now getting to the outside dimensions, they are all 23 inches long in this direction right here. They are 12.6 inches deep in this direction here. And in terms of height, this 30 quart version is 16.2 inches tall. So each of the uh, other two models are a little bit smaller and they'll be just a little bit shorter as a result. Now, all three models are very efficient in terms of power consumption, uh, and they all have kind of an eco mode and a max mode, which is pretty common with these 12 volt refrigerators. And in max mode, I think they draw about 45 watts. And in eco mode, they draw about 36 watts. Now that's only when the compressor is running. And all these refrigerators do come with an AC adapter here, like this guy right there. So you can run it off of uh, 110 all the way up to 240. And they come with a very long uh, car 12 volt socket cable. This is 11 feet long. So one of the longest ones that I have seen. That's what she said. In these refrigerators. So if you've got a, a pretty good size van and you want to stick this in the back and for some reason don't have a, uh, you know, a car socket in the back, you can run that cable all the way up front. So I like the fact that there's just extra long cable here. And all the fridges in this line are compatible with 12 volt and 24 volt systems. Now I've had this refrigerator for about a month and a half and I've been testing it and using it in kind of real world scenarios over that time. And one thing I've been really impressed with is how quiet this compressor is. And that's important to me if I'm gonna take this out car camping or in a small camper because I'm a very light sleeper. And this compressor is extremely, I would say it's whisper quiet. In fact, let me play a clip and you can hear how, how loud it actually is. you can see here, it's actually registering about 36 decibels. So that's very, very quiet. Now all the fridges in this line have three levels of car battery protection. So if you are gonna run this off a car battery, you obviously don't wanna get stranded and let this thing run your battery down. So you can tell it to auto shut off if the voltage on your car battery drops to one of three levels. So you can, you can kind of tune it to how aggressive you want it to be or not. And you don't have to buy one of those little extra kind of battery protection modules that sits between the refrigerator and the uh, power port. And this line of fridges is actually designed to handle up to a 30 degree uh, incline. So if you happen to be not in a level space for some reason and you want to operate it at 30 degrees off, it'll still run fine. It's not hard on the compressor at all, uh, as long as you don't go past 30 degrees. Now, as long as it's plugged into a power source, whether it's actually turned on or not, it does have an interior LED light that'll light up uh, when you open the lid. So it lights up automatically and then turns off automatically. And by the way, the lid is actually using magnetic connectors instead of like uh, kind of the Yeti style tie downs or some other uh, latching method. I was actually worried that this magnetic lid might not seal as well, but it turns out it actually seals very well as we'll talk about in a minute when we talk about 
how well it holds its temperature. Now, I will point out that the lids on this CR Pro line are not reversible. So some of the other models they have are reversible. This one is not. So if I had to say there was a miss on this particular refrigerator, it's probably that, but um, it's not, you know, it's not a deal breaker, especially because on teardrop campers in particular, in the little galley in the back, typically it's on the right hand side for the refrigerator. So when you pull the refrigerator out, you kind of want to be able to see the panel on the end closest to you. And you want the, you know, you want the door to open up this way. And that's exactly kind of how this is configured. Now it does have molded handles on either side and it also has tie downs on either side. So there are three little slots here on this little plastic tie down strip on both sides, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and it does also have an integrated bottle opener. So inevitably when, when I'm traveling, I almost always forget to bring a bottle opener. Now, now I don't have to worry about it because it's integrated right into the case. So that's pretty handy. All right, so far we've talked about things that are fairly standard stuff that you would probably expect to find in a 12 volt refrigerator. But there's also some things here that are actually standouts. These are things that really kind of made me want to review this refrigerator. And this first one is actually an option. We're going to talk about this more in a second, but this is the mini power station that uh, Bouge RV has come out with. And, and there's a, a variety of things that you can do with this that are very neat. And again, we'll talk about that in a minute. But there also is this integrated little storage cavity here that you can use for various things. And let's go check and see how that works. So for one, when you're storing the fridge and you're not using it, this is a really convenient place to keep all the cables and the AC adapter. But then if you have the mini power station option, it comes with a perfectly sized DC cable. So you can feed the cable connector here, as you can see through the, the access port in the back, and you connect it right into the power station. And then you can tuck that power station away in the compartment. And now you've got a fully self-contained power solution. But that's not the only thing you can do with this power station. All right, here's the cool thing. You can actually hook up a solar panel to this mini power station. And then you can be powering the fridge off of the little mini power station and recharging that power station with a solar panel up to 100 watts. Now this is actually the Booz RV 130 watt briefcase style solar panel, which is actually a very good match for this. That's a little bit of over paneling as we call it. And if you're in less than ideal sun conditions, you'll get a little bit more output out of this 130 watt panel than you would a comparable 100 watt panel. But let's go see how this works. Any solar panel that's 100 watts in the 12 volt, 18 volt uh, rating will be fine for this power station. And you can actually feed this through the little cable management port here in the back and pull it through and then plug this right into the back of the power station. This is a DC 7909 connector on the back of the power station and that just goes right into there. So if your power station already has a DC 7909 adapter on it, then you're good to go. If it's got MC4 on it, you just need to get an MC4 to 7909 adapter and you can plug that in. And you're not gonna be able to make this out because it is super bright out here at the moment. We're getting a little over 90 watts input and we are outputting uh, just under 30 watts right now. And I just turned this on, so it's the compressor is on. It is in the process of cooling down because I have it set to freezing from a previous test. But uh, this thing is actually taking in three times as much energy as it's using. Um, but anyway, yeah, that is super cool to have that all self-contained like that and be able to recharge this thing on the fly without a full-blown, full-size power station. This can be its own little power source. And if for some reason you wanted to, you could obviously just charge this by itself since it's got its own built-in charge controller and it works just like a regular power station. And while we're at it, just take a look here. Hopefully this will show up. You've got a USB-A out and you've got a USB-C out and in. So you can charge this thing either from the DC7909 input or you can charge it uh, from the USB-C in up to 60 watts. So actually uh, with the AC adapter they include, it charges at about 60 watts and the USB-C connector charges about 60 watts. So you can actually charge this faster using solar because it'll take up to 100 watts input on solar. And of course, it's got a little LED light and your 12 volt car socket. So this little mini power station here from Bouge RV, uh, for what it does and what it's intended to do, is extremely functional. Now you've probably seen other 12 volt fridges with battery options and typically they look, you know, something like this and uh, you can kind of snap them into the side. And these honestly are pretty cheaply made. And I, I don't, I just don't get the sense that these are, are very well built. And when you're talking about battery products, you do want something that is well built. And this, I can tell you, is well built. And it's got all of the standard protections over voltage, over, uh, over current, over temp, all that kind of stuff. Um, and 
you can use this for more than just a fridge. The, these other ones are just usable on a fridge and that's it. You could charge your portable electronics with this. You could charge this, uh, you could power any 12 volt fridge from this particular battery supply. And um, including your, your phone, it's got, a, as I said, a type C and a, and a type A connector on it and a light. And the ability to charge this via solar separately is pretty cool. I'm overusing the word cool, I apologize. But anyway, this battery option is about $189 and again, I'll, I'll leave links in the description below if you want to go check that out. This is one of the neatest things I've seen in a while. I'm pretty pretty psyched about this, this particular product. Now, I was interested in figuring out how long you could run it in fridge or freezer mode with this battery. So I did test that and I, I uncovered some things that I think are kind of interesting and some things you might want to be aware of. So first of all, in uh, refrigerator mode, I ran the test at 40 degrees and I did stock this thing uh, about, I would say, 75% capacity. Uh, to make sure there was plenty of thermal mass in there so it would be a real world test. And once I got the temperature, the target temperature to 40 degrees, I then uh, started powering it off the battery to see how long it would last. And at an ambient temperature of only 72 degrees, sometimes the compressor won't come on for more than three hours. In this first round of these uh, mini power stations, that is a little bit of a concern because this will auto shut off after three hours of no power draw. So I kind of ran into an issue in that this thing is insulated enough that even at 72 degrees ambient temperature and 40 degrees target temperature, the, the compressor wouldn't come on. And so this thing would shut off. But if you're operating this in an 80 degrees Fahrenheit ambient temperature or higher, the, the compressor is gonna need to kick on more often and you'll, you will not have that issue. Now I will say also I reached out to their tech support to see if there was a way that I could disable that eco mode. And tech support said they were already aware that the three hours probably wasn't long enough. And they were uh, kind of recalibrating that uh, configuration to be nine hours. So it'll be a non-issue on these things going forward. But um, anyway, I just wanted to share that was my, my experience with this. So normally I would say uh, all things being considered at around that 72 degrees ambient temperature in refrigerator mode, you can get about 12 hours at least runtime uh, from this particular battery with this particular refrigerator. Now in freezer mode, I brought the temp all the way down to zero degrees Fahrenheit, or I think that's negative 18 degrees Celsius. And again, at 72 degrees uh, ambient, I was able to get nine hours of running time. So that's still enough time to get you through the night. And then you can solar charge this thing back up and uh, and run it, well, or run it off solar while you're recharging the battery. So um, plenty of time, plenty of runtime for this particular capacity. So what kinds of things will this refrigerator hold in this 30 quart version? So it's deep enough to hold 12 upright bottles, like 750 milliliter bottles of wine. I don't know why that was my first example. Moving on, it will hold four or five two liter bottles with room to spare for extra stuff. It'll easily hold two one gallon jugs and still have enough room to hold around 12 more 12 ounce cans. And then if all you're doing is storing 12 ounce cans in here, you can get somewhere between 37 and 40 12 ounce cans in this thing. All right, so what are my final thoughts on this? Cause this refrigerator really does check all the boxes for me. So number one, it's got a small footprint it's, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, but yet it's still big enough easily for a two or three day weekend getaway. It's got that interior LED light that kicks on when you need it. I like the fact that it's got the integrated bottle opener. And as you saw, it's whisper quiet when, it, when the compressor's on and that's a big one for me. And I think it's extremely affordable at that 379 price or even better if you get it at the discount. And then obviously don't forget about this cool little uh, mini DC power station option. I, I really can't say enough about this. This is one of the neatest little devices I've seen. So as you may or may not be aware, I've reviewed quite a few other Bouge RV products and I really feel like Bouge RV is proving themselves as an excellent resource for innovative and quality products that are actually budget priced. So instead of being premium priced like a lot of their competitors. So I've got no hesitation in recommending this particular little fridge. So if you're in the market for one of these kind of weekender sort of 12 volt refrigerators, that 30 quart, 26 quart, or maybe even a smaller one in a 21 quart range, I think you should go check them out. I think they're definitely worth a look. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope you found something useful in this. Uh, if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I do have a bunch more solar and very interesting power station products coming down the pike. They're in the queue, uh, coming out very soon. And so stay tuned for those. I do hope to see you in the next one. And until then, have fun out there.